بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا کورس نیچرل پروڈکٹ کیمسٹری کیم فور ٹو فائیو دس از یور فرسٹ آن لائن لیکچر اباؤٹ ٹرپینوئرس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر نائلہ خالد کیمسٹری ڈپارٹمنٹ ٹرسٹ کوہار آور ٹو ڈے سیشن ول بی اباؤٹ این انٹروڈکشن ٹو دا ٹرپینوئڈ ایز اے کلاس آف نیچرل پروڈکٹس and their classification some of the classes of the terpenoids and then we will discuss how these terpenoids which are of plant origin are isolated from the plant material so natural products dear students natural products are the products isolated from plants animals microbes microbes insects plant pathogens endophytes marine and these are known as secondary metabolites in our previous sessions we have discussed about alkaloids as a class of one of the class of the natural products now and, and onward we will discuss about the terpenoids and then some other classes of natural products in this course our today's topic is an introduction to terpenoid the terpenoid term is given to a diverse class of compounds basically these are the hydrocarbons with a general formula c5h8n the hydrocarbons with the general formula c5h8n are known as terpenes these terpenes have some functional group in other words you can say that there is some modification in the form of functional group and that modified class of terpene is known as terpenoids one of the example is terpeniol this is the structure of this terpenoid with the functional group oh so there is variety of terpenoids present in nature 60% of the total natural products are composed of terpenoids in simple words you can say that terpenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons and their modified class of terpenes the terpenoids are in different way are present in nature in one or different way but most of them are of plant origin you can see that the terpenoid with the oxygen containing functional group and that has some multicyclic structure this oxygen functional group may be in the form of alcohol it may be in the form of aldehyde it may be in the form of ketone and it is it may be the dehydrogenated derivatives of terpenes are hydrogenated derivatives of protein uh, hydrogenated derivatives of terpenes so in nature you will see various examples of terpenoids pine black pepper mint and lavender citrus lemon rosemary orange peel lemon grass hops roses and wine grapes and cannabis so you will see that various examples of terpenoids in nature here in this slide you can see the structure and the trivial and the na trivial name and the name of that terpenoid present in that the source of this is the source of terpenoid most of them are plant origin so you can see here the structure too with the with their name like this is pinene caryophyllene carene limonene linalool terpeniol nerol humulene geraniol mercine so they these are the examples of some naturally occurring terpenoids 
now the chemistry of terpenoids terpenoids are colorless liquids mostly soluble in organic solvent and volatile in nature mostly you will see that there are unsaturated hydrocarbons and these are also optically active due to their unsaturation they will give you addition products upon addition with the some of the reagents they will give you addition products they they will give you polymerized product dehydrogenated products you, you can carry out dehydrogenation of rings of terpenoid and the most important aspect of terpenoid is that when you go for thermal decomposition it gives you isoprene as one of the product now what is isoprene dear students you can see here the structure of isoprene unit this is actually 2 methyl 1,3 butadiene, and this is known as isoprene. In other words, it is also known as building block of the terpenoids. So its general formula is C5H8. You can count here. This is C5H8. In other words, you can say you can say terpenoids are the natural products which are also known as isoprenoids. because these are composed of isoprene unit and this is due to the fact that the skeleton of all the terpenoid are built of isoprene unit and this is known as isoprene rule isoprene rule is based on the two facts that the empirical formula of the terpenoid is c5h8 this is empirical formula of terpenoid that is c5h8 which is the iso which is the formula of isoprene and the third second one is that thermal decomposition of terpenoid always give you isoprene uh, as a one of the product this shows that the skeleton of all the terpenoid is composed of these isoprene units now we will talk about some of the classes of the terpenoids the terpenes are classified on the basis of number of isoprene unit for example the first class is monoterpene with a two isoprene unit with an example limonol geraniol similarly sesquiterpene is another class with three isoprene units the example is farnesol diterpene with cafestol example triterpene squalene tetraterpene with an example of beta carotene and also an example lyco lycopene so you can see uh, isoprene units numerous isoprene units polymerized together in the form of a class of terpenoids polyterpene besides these classes there is another class which is based on only one isoprene unit that is also known as hemiterpene that is based on only single isoprene unit the slide will show that the name of the terpenoid that is farnesol which you have all these names we have uh, i have mentioned to you in in my previous slide you can see here the structure of each terpenoid geraniol with this structure farnesol cafestol limonene squalene beta carotene and, and so on on in all these structures in all these structures you can see one thing is common that is unsaturation unsaturated hydrocarbons are these are unsaturated hydrocarbons and there are certain terpenoid with certain functional group like this one like this one like this one so geraniol is present in the flowers limonene is present in lemon citrus lemon beta carotene is present in carrots 
Now, dear student, we will discuss how you will isolate and separate terpenoids from the plant material. If the plant material is enriched with these terpenoids, you can carry out isolation by following these two steps. Number one, isolation of essential oil. And number two is separation of terpenoid from essential oil. Now this is uh, steam distillation method, solvent extraction, adsorption in purified fats. These are the three methods which are used to isolate essential oil from the plant material. All of you know that steam distillation is a process of purification or separation technique in which steam is the main source of energy. The plant material is not heated directly, but it is heated through steam and the essential oil is separated in this way. You can also carry out solvent extraction using suitable solvent. You can use solvent extraction. And the third one is adsorption in purified fats. If you use purified fats, you heat up with some petals of the flowers which contain terpenoids, then that uh, terpenoids, then that essential oil is adsorbed on the surface of purified. So in this way, you can separate out essential oil. Here I can give you sketch of some diagrammatic representation of the uh, separation of the essential oil from the plant material. This is the setup which shows the steam distillation. Here solvents are used in hexane and ethanol, this plant material in some solvent, it is heated and essential oil is separated. And floral water is separated in this chamber and this essential oil is separated in this way. This is known as aroma, this is known as uh, separation, distillation of essential oil. And this is used in aromatherapy. This is used in perfume industry. And it will give you concentrated essential oil, which has special fragrance. As you know, terpenoids has special fragrance. So you can also carry out this type of setup. You can use this type of setup for perfume distillation, for removal of any alcohol, which is present in the plant material and it will concentrate that essential oil. Now the second step, that is separation of terpenoid from the essential oil. You can carry out terpenoid separation by two methods, physical and chemical method. First of all, I will discuss that what are the physical methods used to separate terpenoid from essential oil. You can carry out fractional distillation. You can carry out distillation under reduced pressure and you can use modern chromatographic techniques. Here are some setups. This is the fractional distillation. This is a fractional distillation of the topping oil. This is the, um, from the essential oil. Essential oil is fractionally distilled to give you different fractions which in each fraction, there are different terpenoids. So you can, in this way, you can separate out various terpenoids uh, by using fractional distillation. You can also use this setup. This setup is for the reduced pressure, distillation under reduced pressure. You can use for the essential oil is used over here and it is separated under reduced pressure. In, and different terpenoids are separated physically. This is steam distillation kit for the terpenoids. You can use steam distillation. And terpenoids which, which can be decomposed can be separated by steam distillation. This is specialized kit for steam distillation of the terpenoid. 
now we will discuss various chromatographic techniques like chromatographic column chromatography you can use modern chromatographic techniques gas chromatography you can use you can even use microwave assisted tapping extraction method and various columns can be used to separate tapinoid from tapin, uh, from essential oil and on the basis of their uh, flow you can separate different fractions and then collect that tapinoid and in, in different uh, fractions from the essential oil. Now we will discuss that how these terpenoids are isolated from the essential oil chemically. There are certain chemical methods, tests and uh, chemical reactions. There are certain chemical uh, reactions and uh, methods which are used to separate out these terpenoids from their essential oil. And it is dependent on the type of terpene which is present in that essential oil. If your essential oil is enriched with terpene hydrocarbon, the example is limonene. So you, you go for this type of test. The first one, essential oil is treated with nitrosyl chloride in chloroform. It gives you crystalline adduct of hydrocarbon which is further separated and decomposed into terpene. And if your essential oil is enriched with alcoholic terpene oils, the example is menthol. So you go for this type of test. You just treat it with thalic acid. Diester of the terpene oil is formed. This diester of terpene oil is formed because Terpenoid has alcoholic functionality, and here is thalic acid. Both will react and give you diester of terpenoid. This diester of terpenoid is treated with some alkali like sodium bicarbonate. It will give you alcoholic terpenoid. As this diester is hydrolyzed by the action of this alkali, it gives you alkaloid, alcoholic terpenoid. The third uh, method is for those terpenoid, or is it is for those essential oil which is enriched with aldehyde or ketonic terpenoid. One of the example of ketonic terpenoid is camphor. You go for this type of reaction. You just treat it, this essential oil, with phenyl hydrazine in the presence of sodium bisulfide. It gives you an adept which is further separated and decomposed into ketonic and aldehyde terpenoid. So, I will conclude my session. I have given you some of the introduction about the terpene and terpenoid, their natural occurrence some of the classes of terpenoids and their isolation methods. That's the end.